You know, when we talk about what Wola Kota is, you know, the old language long ago when you, uh, when you put emphasis on something, especially, you know, our language is um, harmonious. There's a melody. It's like when you listen to the elders or grandmothers speaking, it seems like when she's talking, it seems like she's, uh, she's singing a song in the beauty of her language. And so we get the term everybody uses today, they say kola, but that term meaning ally, companion, friend. And historically that was reserved only for two males two males who were really close, they grew up with each other, very identical, did everything together. And it was reserved for them too. This guy could call a guy Kola, because they're so similar, they, they've done everything. They always like to hang out with each other. And so that was reserved for those two individuals like that. But as languages change through time, it became more of a overall term for anyone you want to consider a friend or an ally. So when you call someone a kola, you're, you're talking about the, um, a friend. So when, when we begin to identify ourselves and then when the dialects began to emerge and then there's in our language, there's a lot of our words that have the suffix on the end. Uh, when you use a, a, a word, that ending's always on the end. But to apply real deep meaning to it, they put it at the front of the word, kola. And, uh, and then it didn't sound right when they said, la, col la cola. It did, it, somehow that wasn't harmonious. It didn't have a melody to it. So as the language was, someone said, well, somewhere the word Lakota came out. You know, that's more appropriate. That sounds more melodious. So we're going to be as the Lakota, Kota. So Kola kind of transformed into saying Koda. And then when the, the emphasis is these were the ones that speak the Al dialect, so they are going to be Lakota, then there's the Dakota, and there is the um, Nakota. Now, when you take this prefix again to apply even more of a virtuous meaning of deeper spiritual value to it, you put the prefix Wo in front of that word and say Wo Lakota. These friends that are entwined in, in, in values of virtue, virtue, where everything they do, everything, their, their belief systems, their social systems, their spiritual systems, their physical traits, all of these things combined together make this way of life. And so you could apply Wolakota to that, saying this is our harmonious, um, way of peace and balance that a person should be living. And then it adds emphasis to all of these four aspects of your life. Not just your physical, but your mental, your emotional, and your spiritual above. Never separating any of them from each other. So, Wola Kota encompasses everything about not just you as an individual, but those you associate, those you live by. And it should be a way of life that encompasses everything in the world. That's how far this Wolakota can reach out. But it is to say this, the influences of life that you know plague people's lives and they, they have to deal with situations and all of a sudden this the way of life is the last thing that they want to think about because this person is persecuting me and my people. I have to come up with something. And, and those ways kind of got put off to the side. 
but to to understand what Wolakhota means, that living in peace, harmony, and balance with all of relatives, which entitles entails a uh, mitakuye oyasin of everyone that I'm related to. <laughs>